Hello everyone. I hope you guys are having a beautiful day. Today is a beautiful day out here and I'm here to try this matcha place called Nico Neko. It was mentioned in my previous blog and a lot of people DM me and ask me about this place so today I'm here to check it out. The interior of this place is beautiful. In the first look when you enter it looks like an art gallery. Hello viewers, now we are with Mr. Joel, he's the manager of Nico Neko. So first of all, thank you so much for having me here. Yeah, sure. So how long this place has been open? Uh, this place has been open for more than a year. Uh, it actually started uh, last year September. Yeah, so it's been a year and a month plus already. Yeah, whereas for Bangsa, uh, and then we have another outlet at Bangsa. Uh, that the place has uh, has been there for more than two to three years. Whereas the business itself is more than more than four years. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. So there are so many matcha places in Kuala Lumpur. Why you guys are the best? Uh, to be honest, I don't think we we is like the number number one number one. But uh, I would say uh, we. Uh, why our customer like uh, Nico Nico Matcha is because uh, first is the concept itself, yeah. So like if I want to compare to uh, most matcha shop in uh, Malaysia, I would say Nico Nico has the most uh, special one, the most standout one. Like you can see the very minimalist design. Like if you come to Chinatown outlet, you will see all the dragon lights of the dragon lights on the ceiling and uh, if you go to uh, Bangsa Ola, it's more like an industrial look very raw, very nice texture around the walls and then you will see a, a concrete slab uh, at the middle of the ground So, it, and then you will see like the paper artwork so uh, and so not just the concept itself and also like what we stand on and what we believe is the lifestyle yeah, so it's more like a lifestyle brand, not just like we just serve matcha. Yeah, and so what makes us uh, when it comes to matcha, what makes us special? We do serve like uh, four types of matcha over here. Like we name it Ren, Kiko, Ajisai, and Yuri, and then we have other tea powders as well, such as like Hoji, uh, two different type of Hoji cha. And then we have gamai cha, green tea with roasted brown rice, and then we have gamai as well, yeah, which is uh, purely roasted brown rice. So uh, most people come here for uh, our matcha uh, because, like, uh, we like to cater to uh, those customers that have different kind of taste profile. Cause like not everyone like the same kind of matcha, you know. Yeah, so like uh, over here, we uh, for the first one that I mentioned just now, Ren. For Ren matcha, uh, in terms of like taste profile, it's very savory, very creamy, and quite uh, have a very nice clean aftertaste. So it's easier for you to drink. Yeah, so it's very brothy, very nice. Yeah, so for Kiku, it's almost the same, but more towards to the nutty, nuttiness. Yeah, pistachio kind of nuttiness. Yeah, whereas for Ajisai, it has a very nice soybean or uh, pistachio kind of nuttiness, and then you will get a hint of bitterness at the back there. Yeah, whereas for the last one, Yuri, uh, you will get like a very nice vegetative kind of sweetness, 
bring a very uh, a hint of exigency at the back. Yeah, so that's. Uh, it's not about like what we serve. It's about the whole concept, like from customer customer service, the interior design, and so what we serve. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. So as you mentioned, you guys opened in September, which is like after the first lockdown, and then we went through two more lockdowns. So how did you manage to stay open during those tough times? Yeah. So.、Uh, Right after we got the notice of、uh, being locked down,、uh, of course we have to strategize, you know, with our bosses, you know, like、uh, what next course of action should we take. So at the end,、uh, we all agreed to do、uh, take a, strictly for takeaway, of course,、uh, because of the rules and regulation and the SOPs. Yeah,、uh, we have to manage the queue and also the riders、uh, that come to pick up their orders and whatnot. Yeah. But、uh, in terms of like、uh, customer sh- traffic, is not as much at,、uh, compared to uh, like uh, before lockdown period. Yeah. But overall,、uh, we still managed to get a lot of、uh, delivery orders from some of our、uh, loyal customer as well. Yeah, really, I really appreciate like、uh, the customers that have been supporting、uh, this brand even through this pand-、uh, pandemic and lockdowns. So,、uh, like on behalf of Nico Nico, I really、uh, like deep down. I think thank every month,、uh, everyone for this. Yeah, for all the support. Yeah, and then、uh, right after.、Uh, You know,、uh, after the lockdown has been、uh, released, and、uh, and also recently the border just opened up.、Uh, now we, I can,、uh, I can really see like you know,、uh, there's more and more、uh, customer traffic like coming in and out. Yeah, which also like、uh, make like make me happy. I mean, like, I really miss the busy day like personally. Yeah, so. So yeah,、uh, that's how we really much go through. But、uh, at the end of the day,、uh, we are still in the middle of pandemic.、Uh, I would really like like those whoever that come out for dine-ins, you know, just practice social distancing and always wear your mask. That's all. Yeah. Well, man, thank you so much for giving me the time. I can see like as soon as I walk in, I could see how busy you guys are. So I know how, when you were making the drinks and everything because everybody is like really hands-on.、Yeah. And now I have seen so many like really delicious looking pastries. And also, like one of your staff member, they explained it to me what it is. So I'm like, I can't wait to try most、okay. of them. So I'm like getting really hungry. So now <laughs> I'm gonna dig in. Yeah, sure, sure, yeah, yeah. So now I will try few of your drinks and four of your pastry. And thank you, Mr. Joel, once again for giving me the time. Thank you so much. Ah,、uh, hi, Mickey. So how many type of pastries do you have here? Currently, we have six types, which is two types of the cream puff, which is mokurenga matcha and adisai hazelnut matcha shu. Other than these two types of the cream puff, we have、uh, two types of the、uh, tiramisu, which is akane hojicha and adisai matcha. Other than these four, we have subaki hojicha cheesecake and melty hojicha loaf cake. Okay, what are the other four which you already sold out? Currently, the arisa is which is the mango roll up and the yuri matcha cheesecake and mokuren cheesecake. Thank you so much. This is the famous cream puff, and here they are decorating it. They measure everything here to make sure you experience the same taste every single time. They are preparing ajisai matcha ice latte. This one is ren matcha. 
Fort Latte. Mr. Joel is really experienced in creating the art on lattes. All their equipment was squeaky clean. They sell all the equipment they use in the cafe as well as the matcha powder and Japanese tea powders here. And now they are preparing my food. I asked Joel to recommend me the best things and he recommended me three pastries and one matcha drink. Hello everyone, so now I'm here I'm gonna try the food. I'm starting with the Ren Matcha Tea. So I'm taking the Ren Matcha Tea first. Mm, wow. Really creamy flavor. Uh, tastes kind of like pistachio to me has a very strong authentic matcha flavor if you like matcha you will know when you take the first sip it's really good mm, yummy okay the next stop is the tiramisu cake <laughs> it's really good Wow. Really intense flavor. I think that's the name as well. It is intense. Wow. If you like caramelo, it's a must try. Really good. It's very light, you know. Usually, you sometimes we try tiramisu, it's a bit heavy. This one is very light, even with the weight and also in taste, very light. Okay, guys, the next up is the cream puff, filled with the matcha cream. Wow. This one is really good. It's a balance of matcha and sweetness. Very nice. If you like cream puff, you would like this one. The puff pastry is so soft, it just like melts in your mouth. Mm. Now it's time to try the, the best selling cheesecake they have. Mm. Wow, it's really creamy, like cheesy creamy. If you like matcha, this place is like a matcha heaven. Really good. Mm. Wow, 
So for the people who never tried matcha before, I just want to say one thing. If you try it the first time, you may not like it because it has kind of like a bitter aftertaste. When I tried the matcha first time, I didn't really like it either. Uh, but over the years, after trying it several times, I have developed the taste for it and now I like it very matcha. <laughs> so please give it try a few times and you will like it as well. I like all the things I have tried today, but the cream puff is the best. So it's a must try. So whenever you come to this cafe, please try their cream puff. It's really yummy. Oh man, it's really good and since I've been here, you know, there's so many customers for takeaways, you know, online orders and dining and today is not even a weekend. On weekend, there is a queue outside and this is a weekday, like a normal day and they are really busy. So people are coming from different places just to try their matcha and now I know why they are so good. Yeah, so guys, please, whenever you are in Kuala Lumpur, please check them out. They are in Chinatown as well as one of the branches in uh, Bangsa. So guys, this cafe is really chill. Uh, just want to say one thing, due to the limited seat, they have limited timing. They're giving around 45 minutes for per time in. So I would recommend if you're planning to come to this place, please come on a weekday so you can sit a bit longer, enjoy the atmosphere with the relaxing music and really good matcha. Mm. Wow, it's so good. I feel like... ah. Uh, so relaxed and today the weather is also very beautiful outside so it was a perfect day for me to try matcha ah, delicious so guys this is the beautiful matcha cafe nikoneko thank you so much for watching and thanks for all the love and support please like share and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video take care So guys, now we are with Mr. Joel. He's the manager of, uh, what's the name? Nico. Uh, yeah. Nico Neko.